Hello everyone, today we are going to be talking about using VLOOKUP in Excel. So to begin, the way you start any function is hit equal sign, and then you're going to type in VLOOKUP and it should come up pretty fast. So now there are four things that you need to plug into the VLOOKUP function, and I have all of those listed right here. But the first thing that you're going to want to have in your VLOOKUP function is the value that you have to start with, which for the case of our example, we're going to assume that we have all of the order IDs and we're looking for something else. So let's just say we're going to look for sugar here. So we're going to use this order ID right here, hit comma, and then um, you're going to select all the data. You wouldn't have to select all the data, but in this case we will. Hit comma again. Now, the third thing that you need to do is select the column that you're going to be looking in. So this would be of the highlighted data. So this is column one, column two, column three. And let's assume that we want the unit price. So we're going to be looking at column three of the highlighted data right here. And now the last part to the VLOOKUP is writing in true or false. True is an approximate match. False is an exact match and you're almost always going to want to use false just because it's going to give you an exact match and you might not get what you're looking for if you use an approximate match so it's a safe bet you're almost always going to want to use false then you're going to hit enter and just like that you can see that the unit price of sugar has been returned just like what we are wanting now this would be a lot more beneficial if you had a lot more data as you can see and this example right here, there's really no need um, for the VLOOKUP command, but in a situation where you have a lot more data to sort through, the VLOOKUP command can be very useful. 